everyone. Today we're going to pick out a pumpkin and we're going to turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. And here they're inviting some witches. So of course, this is the perfect pumpkin patch for me. Let's go check it out. How tall are you going to be this fall? This one's pretty cute. Oh, but it's also kind of mashed on the back. Well, I guess I can use the front part for the cutting. I think this is good. I like the stem on it. I think it's really pretty. All right. Don't lift it by the stem if you come to a pumpkin patch. This is not what you're supposed to do. This pumpkin looks awesome. Look at this swirly top. There's no bruises on it. This is actually a perfect pumpkin. Definitely getting it. Oh, it's light too. Okay, I guess we'll get this one. I, mean, I guess it still has a nice kind of top. Well, I got my pumpkin. Now for the hard part, to cut it into a beautiful jack-o'-lantern. Let's go see. Boom! We are going to carve these pumpkins. I love Hello Kitty, so we're gonna do, we're gonna attempt to do a Hello Kitty drawing. Stay tuned to see if it happens. But if I mess up, there's another pumpkin. We have all these tools to use. So it says to carve the top first. I made it. The top is off. I'm going to save the seeds because I'm going to make yummy pumpkin seeds. Okay. Using my little fancy scooper duper. Kids at home, this is messy. Ooh, it looks so great inside. hard work but look all the insides I got a lot out of there now I'm going to draw the picture on they recommend taping it on but I feel like I can just draw it on my own so I'm just going to try that and again if I fail it doesn't matter but another pumpkin I used a dry erase marker, which I highly recommend. It's kind of a tip, instead of using a pencil or gluing it on there, because then if you mess up your design, you can just use a wet rag and erase it off. So highly recommend using a dry erase marker to draw in your design if you feel confident enough to draw your design on. So here's my little Hello Kitty. Look how cute. First, we are gonna do the parts, her eyes, her little button, a uh, bow that are going to be completely cut out. Got my little hand of dandy tools. I carved out the parts in this that are going to be completely all the way through the parts. The little bow and the eyes as you can see, and now I'm going to carve the other parts just lightly so it can all stay connected so you can see my awesome Hello Kitty design. The last part will be the hardest part. So as you can see, I carved out the entire Hello Kitty face. It would have been a lot easier just to do the outline, but you know, I thought it'd be more fun. The last part is going to be the nose. This part's gonna be really hard because I have to do a thick line and not break the whole face in, so wish me luck. Ta-da! I think it's done. I'm gonna put a candle inside and see if I wanna make any changes. We are gonna turn out the lights 
so we can get the maximum effect. Time to try it out, see if it works. Oh, snap, crackle. Looks like a Hello Kitty to me. See you next time on Fox Four Rounds.